guys, miss you a ton. Hope you're doing well. Let me know if you need any help with anything. We're gonna be sticking with unit five today and we're gonna be working on multiplying decimals. Before we do that, I got a joke for you. So why do fish live in salt water? Because pepper water would make them sneeze. <laughs> All right, so let's get to today's activity. Okay, so remember when we're multiplying decimals, there's three ways we can do it. Elena's, Noah's, and then my way. So I'm gonna go through all the ways and then for the Google form, you get to pick which way that you want to work through these. So starting with Elena's, she is the one that turned the decimals into whole numbers. So remember she multiplied it. So this is nine and four tenths. Since it's a tenth, we multiply it by 10. And this is going to become the whole number 94. This is 15 hundredths. So <coughs> since it's a hundredth, we need to multiply it by a hundred and we'd get 15. Now we're going to multiply 94 by 15. Five times four is 20. 5 times 9 is 45, plus 2 is 47. Now, I need to add a placeholder 0 because I'm actually multiplying by 10, not just by 1. So, 1 times 4 is 4. 1 times 9, 9. Now, I need to add these. I'm running out of room. Mm hmm Three plus zero is zero, seven plus four is 13. Bring down the three, carry the one. Nine plus four plus one is 14. So 94 times 15 is 1,430, but that's not our actual problem. So remember what we do now is we actually take 10 times 100, and I would get 1,000. So I need to take our 1,430 and divide by the 1,000. So I'm going to go ahead and erase this to give me more room. So remember, when we divide by a number like 10 or 100 or 1,000, when it ends in all these zeros and it starts with a 1, all you have to do is count the zeros, 1, 2, 3, and that is how many times you move your decimal to the left. So our decimal is in the back right now. We're going to move it to the left three times because that's how many zeros they are. Okay, so we have our answer, and that is 1.5. Four, three, zero. And remember that zero is actually unnecessary, so you can keep it or you can get rid of it. It does not matter. So, same exact problem, nine and four tenths times 15 hundredths, but we're doing it Noah's way. So Noah turned decimals into fractions. So this is nine and four tenths. So this is actually 94 over 10 and then 15 hundredths becomes 15 over 100. Now all we have to do is multiply those. So remember when you're multiplying you just okay go. Remember when you're multiplying you just multiply straight across for fractions. So we know 94 times 15, we already did that, is 1,430. And 10 times 1,000, we already did that as well. I'm sorry, 10 times 100, we already did that, is 1,000. So we get the same exact thing as we did in Elena's way. We should because it's the same exact problem. So same thing with this. 
Now small glue to the back and we move it three spots. So we still get one and 43 hundredths for this guy. All right, my way. So for this, you're going to pretend like the decimals aren't there, but you're still going to write them. And then you're going to multiply like normal. 5 times 4 is still 20. And we're going to get 47. Okay. This is the exact same thing we did when we started with Elena's way. But now I'm going to count the decimal spots. So there is one number behind the decimal in 9 and 4 tenths. And then there is two numbers behind the decimal in 15 hundredths. One plus two is three. So I need three numbers behind my decimal here. And we still get the same number. All right. So all three of these numbers, exactly the same. This one doesn't have a zero, but it doesn't matter. Remember those zeros you can have or you don't have to have. Okay, you have two multiplication problems. Go ahead and solve them in whichever way you feel more most comfortable with. Email me if you have any questions at all. Have a great day, guys. Bye.